Hello, boys and girls. This is the continent of Africa, seen from outer space on the globe. There are 55 countries in Africa. We're focusing on the safari and the animals. And specifically, we are focusing in on giraffes today. Now, a giraffe has a very unique body. Of course, they have a very long neck, pointed ears. They have kind of furry horns, eyes with beautiful long eyelashes. You can see their nostrils. Their body is covered with brown spotted fur. They have a long tail and their lower legs are white. They have hoofed feet, but most re really importantly is they have very long legs and a very long neck. Okay, boys and girls, we are working on the African safari animal, the giraffe. And we're going to put it in a beautiful sunset. I think I might turn my paper this way so I can see the sunset a little bit better. But then it's hard to get this long neck, so mm, maybe, maybe vertical. All right, we're going to have to start with placing this little head so I'm going to draw a circle for its head, and then I'm going to add a little oval for its nose. Two little ovals for its ears. One, two, and two little lines that will fill in for its horns. So way at the top, we've got the nice head. Now I'm going to draw a line down and a line a little sort of thick on one side because it has this really big neck. I'm going to draw a circle shape for its belly and a circle shape for its hips and then I'm going to connect them. See? There's all sorts of shapes inside of animals. You can see them. Big circle, little circle. It's his chest and his hips and a little triangle for its tail. I'm going to fill this in so I'm not worried about those. And of course, they have very long legs and kind of knobby knees. One foot, or one leg, and this is the second leg. And you can see I drew his little knees. I'm going to make his legs a little thicker because they're thicker than a line. Two legs and two back legs. One, and they're thicker in the back. Usually a leg on an animal is much thicker in the back because that's where a lot of their power comes from, holding their body up and moving their body around. And now I have, you know, basic shapes. Head, neck, body, legs, tail, ears, nose, and horns. Now I'm going to add a little yellow and I'm going to use yellows and browns. Now yellow on yellow is hard, so I'm going to do a, an orangish yellow. And I'm going to fill it in. Of course, you could start, instead of the yellow, you could start with the brown spots. They're not quite spots, they're these wonderful little shapes. And maybe, yeah, maybe it's a better idea to start with the spots. Here we go. And, oh, I almost forgot a really fun part of my giraffe. They have a little bit of hair right on the back of their neck. Here we go. Now I'm using oil pastels, which can blend really beautifully, but I'm not really ready for that. So I'm just going to keep working on my spots or my sh little shapes on the body. They even go down the leg a little bit. And then I'm going to add my color. It takes a lot of work and persistence. I almost wish I would have used a lighter brown for this. That's okay. And here are, oh my gosh, so many shapes on the fur.
There we go. And I'm going to even get some up here on the face and his nose and horns. Oh boy, they have two big nostrils you can see. Hey cutie. <laughs> All right. And now I'm going to add a few more of these shapes on their legs. And now I'm going to start filling in the yellowy, yellowy orange color. And you can see it's blending a little bit in here. I'm trying to carefully go around. I probably should have done it the opposite way. Add the yellow first and then the brown if I'm using pastels. If I'm using crayons, you can do the opposite. You can do the brown and then the yellow. Oil pastels, I would go the opposite way. But it's all good. Here we go. The pastels show up so beautifully. All right, you're probably finished with this part. <laughs> Takes me a long time because I'm a little pokey. All right, now I want to finish his little legs. work on the sun, the sunset. Finish this giraffe's face and work on a sunset. Oh, I have forgotten a really fun little part, the eyes. They have beautifully big eyes. Sometimes you can see their eyelashes if you're close enough. I'm going to add the eyelashes. There we go. All right. So boys and girls, behind this wonderful giraffe, I'm going to add a little bit of a line behind it to add the ground, maybe the water. I'm going to switch to a crayon here. A little bit of water. And then I'm going to switch to a little bit of land. I'm going to switch to green, I think. And here we go. And then the big sun in the African safari. I don't think I have the best paper for this project. I should have probably used a darker paper if I wanted so much yellow. On, um, well, I don't know. You have a lot of different colors to choose from. Okay, and we're gonna add a little bit of the land and then the sun. Land and the sun. So I'm gonna take another color, maybe a, a green. And this is where you're going to have to stop and start. Here's the body. I'll draw to the body and then I'll go behind the body. And this next part will be green.
You can see I used a dark color down there so it's starting to move around and get into my green. I should have waited on the black. Oh, I grabbed the black. And of course you can have plants and flowers in these sections. I'm just using color. Try not to leave the just the yellow paper. And <clears throat> I'm going to finish this behind the land behind the giraffe. The giraffe is standing in front of it. You can see behind the giraffe. And I'm bringing color all the way up to it. You can always add different details and have your freedom as an artist. Of course, to add more giraffes, babies, plants, trees, think about the safari, maybe a tortoise and a bird. I'm keeping mine simple today. And the sun. So boys and girls, the sun behind this beautiful giraffe. I'm going to have a really big sun behind the giraffe. So I think I'm going to take an orange and draw a big hmm I don't know if I want to draw it a little bit behind him or above him or on the side I think I'll put it right here just like a blazing Sun just part of it there we go I think I'm gonna go back to pastels and they're a little dirty so you can wipe the edge off and here is my yellow Sun and then the sky is going to be orange and light orange, dark orange, reddish. I want to make it look really hot with hot colors. And simple background. All right. Now I'm going to move to the heat of the sky. Next color. Well, thank you boys and girls. I noticed I forgot to lengthen the tail of my giraffe and add a little bit of longer hair to the end. So make sure you take a look at the tails on your giraffes or giraffe. All right, thank you boys and girls.